like to take everyone back in this room to a historic day in modern history that all of us were lucky enough to be alive for. The 26th of May, 2015, when the Supreme Court decided to pull up a gay, con a gay case. This case was Ovell versus Hodges. It's the case that ruled that in the United States, under the Equal Protection Act of the 14th Amendment, all 50 states had to legalize and validate marriage between a heterosexual couple and a homosexual couple as the same standard. That was 2015. It's almost 2020. So nearly five years ago was the last time that a protection was passed, helping the LGBTQ plus community. Today I'd like to tell you about something that still plagues LGBT youth, which is gay conversion therapy. So what is it? It's a harmful practice through spiritual healing of converting a homosexual or bisexual to heterosexual. So what is in the eyes of the church? Sinful versus what is okay. So some of the harmful practices at this therapy include Bible beating, which is asking members of your family to beat you with a copy of the Holy Bible to get that demonic gay spirit forced out of you, as well as shock therapy, connecting electrodes to your brain to shock gay thought patterns out of your brain. Abuse and shaming, which go hand in hand with each other, making you hate yourself for how you identify as who you are, as well as water torture, which is dunking you in a baptismal fountain to cleanse your mind, body, and soul of a gay, demonic spirit. The Trevor Project has conducted many studies showing that this is 100% ineffective and completely useless. According to the 2018 study done by the Williamsburg Institution, roughly 700,000 adults were subjected to this practice before they turned 18, as there is no law protecting minors. Of that 700,000, 3,500,000 ,000 were asked about their experience. 63% of that said that during, before, or after their stay at a gay conversion therapy camp, they attempted suicide. 63% of 350,000 is 220,000 people. And just being LGBT and having rejecting family, you are eight times more likely to try and commit suicide. Let that standard sink in eight times more likely. Roughly 80,000 more LGBT youth would be subjected to this harmful practice that doesn't work if the other 32 states don't comply with changing their laws. Only 18 states in America have attempted to pass legislation and been successful. The state we currently live in has no national protection for LGBT youth. If anyone in this room is under the age of 18, you could be subjected to this practice by your parents. Alachua County doesn't even have a city or countywide protection against it. So there is no jurisdiction. So who's leading the change? What's the attempt to try and make this problem go away? The Trevor Project. As I said, they've done many studies showing that gay conversion therapy doesn't work, and they have started the, to change with the movement, the 50 bills in 50 states. So that is getting each state to pass a bill. So it's essentially a nationwide protection. They offer 24-7, 365 days a year support through a hotline that even if you're not LGBT, you can still call if you just need to talk to someone if you're feeling suicidal or you know someone that is. You can also contact your senators. In the state of Florida, we have Rick Scott and Marco Rubio who are Republican and have already spoken on this and said that there should be a clear separation between church and state, meaning state shouldn't get involved in religious practices. It's in the First Amendment. But I'd like to let you know that the Free Exercise Clause and the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment protect your rights to practice religion as you see fit until it impedes on the right of another individual. Gay conversion therapy impedes on the rights of other individuals. Therefore, it's time to make a change. So I urge you to go online to the Trevor Project it takes less than five minutes and it's completely free to sign your state's petition, especially in our state. We can help thousands if not millions of LGBT youth feel safer to live in this country. Thank you for your time.